Hi there, let's take a few minutes to improve our evaluation skills and this time we're going to focus on a, a topic in microeconomics, the debate about whether monopolistic competition as a market structure is overall positive for consumer welfare. In each of these videos we pick up on three key evaluation arguments. Here's the question, to what extent is monopolistic competition an ideal market structure for consumers? The question, of course, focuses very clearly on consumer welfare, so we need to bring in some welfare and efficiency ideas. So we're looking to make three key points. Here's the first. Low barriers to entry, and that's a characteristic of this market, mean that there is intense competition between firms, and this leads to more choice of product for consumers. Notice the use of connectives there. Evaluation point. Well, extensive choice is not always a benefit for consumers. And this is where we can bring in some behavioural economics. People have bounded rationality and may not make optimal decisions if there is a, a bewildering array of choice. Second point, in monopolistic competition, prices are kept closer to marginal cost, leading to improved allocative efficiency. That's the idea of lots of firms competing with each other. That drives the price down closer to the marginal cost of supply. However, a counterpoint is that although competition keeps prices low, the saturation of products, though there are many closely competing products, may lead to firms not exploiting the full economies of scale. And this leads to a loss of productive efficiency. So we're evaluating here by saying that monopoly competition can be good for allocative efficiency, but not necessarily good for productive efficiency. Our third key point, there'll be a high level of innovation in this market structure, causing an improvement in dynamic efficiency. But a counter argument, but product differentiation, which is again a characteristic of this market, through, for example, excessive packaging, can lead to increased wastage and external costs, e.g. from plastic. So in each of these cases here, we're making a point and just developing a little bit using a chain of reasoning, but then we're evaluating point we've made and this is the key to getting high marks and evaluation of course to support this answer there's lots of scope for analysis diagrams as part of your overall answer to this question